Hey there, today I want to show you how to build a suspension bridge in Unity. If you are familiar with armatures and Blender FBX files, keep watching. Otherwise, I will recommend to watch the rope tutorial first. So let's start again in Blender. Basically, I use the same object as in our rope tutorial. It's just a cylinder with an armature inside. It also has some loop cuts so it can bend. I just duplicated the rope four times and then added some planks with a normal cube. After I exported a bridge as an FBX file, I can import it in Unity and drag it in our scene. The first thing I do is unpack the prefab completely so I can work with it better. Then we have to add our hinge joints to our bones. And because there are a lot of bones and I'm a lazy guy, I made a script for that. You will find this script in the link below. So here I just can add the script hinge joint helper to the first bone. This script will add hinge joints to the current object and all child objects and also connect the rigid bodies from the top to the child. Now we have basically the same thing as in our rope tutorial. Just a rope hanging down. So to fix that we have to add an anchor point to the other side of the rope. So on the end bone. We can just duplicate the end bone so it has the same position. Now we have to add a second hinge joint to our last bone and then connect it with our anchor end. And in our anchor end we have to delete the connected body. So now if we enter the play mode you will see that both sides of the rope are attached to a magic anchor point. This could also be a mountain or just a wooden pole. So we have to do this for all four ropes. You can use the hinge joint helper and don't forget to create the end anchor point. But we also have to attach the wooden planks to our rope. So for the wooden planks we also use hinge joints, but we have to find the right bone of our rope. So in my example the first plank is connected to bone 6 of our first rope. You can see that bone 6 is nearly centered to the first plank. It doesn't have to be perfect, but don't choose a bone which is too far away. So the plank will be connected to the first rope, but we also have to connect the other side. For this we can go the other way round. So we go to rope 2 and then to bone 6, add another hinge joint and connect the first plank. Then we have to repeat that for all planks. So the planks will follow the movement of the ropes and the other way around. If you want to improve the top ropes, you can also create more ropes which connects the top rope to the lower ropes. You can also increase the bone count, but keep in mind, the more bones and the more hinge joints, the more complex your structure will be and you might get some FPS losses. So I hope you learned something new today. Subscribe to watch more tutorials and I'm sure I see you in the next.